Hey everybody, it's Whitney from Butch Talk coming at you with a new video. This week I'm going to take a subscriber suggestion and talk about what to do or what to say when someone mistakes you for a guy. Just to put this out there first, I'm coming at this from the standpoint of a masculine woman. I identify as female and a woman. I'm just more on the masculine side in my presentation and some of my mannerisms and things like that. So here we go. So one of the first things I will say, and I've tweeted this before, if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, feel free to follow me there. Correct them when it happens. People don't know or won't learn unless you tell them. So people might say, well, are you going to correct people all the time? Are you going to correct them like every time it happens when you enter a bathroom? Are you going to have correct them every time you go out to eat? Are you going to correct them every time? Whatever the instance may be, like these are people you're probably never going to see again. Or if you do, it's like they're not your friends. Like why would I correct them then? In that case, I will say, you know, it's totally up to you. If you do are just not in the mood to correct people that day, I mean, don't do it. I've had those days before where I'm just like in a rush or I'm just not in the mood and I don't do it. But for the most part, if someone's mistaking me for a guy, that's not how I identify, I correct them. I say, actually, I'm a she, I'm her, I'm a girl, I'm a woman. The people who make that mistake sometimes maybe just aren't around people who present outside of the gender norm and they just aren't used to seeing it and so until they see it and they experience it they're never going to kind of shift their mindset of what are the possibilities out there. If it's somebody that you think is going to be a good friend or someone in like a friend group I would say you could go more in depth even so like I'd say actually I prefer like she her pronouns and I'm you know identify as female you can kind of explain why. You want to talk to them a little bit more about it if you're feeling more at ease about it feel free to explain a little bit more but it's never your job to really do that I think that's the one thing I want to make sure that I get across in this video is it's never your responsibility or job to make up for other people's ignorance or yeah or laziness because in some cases people are aware that people like us exist but they're just too lazy to pay attention and uh, take the time to be sensitive about it. That would be my disclaimer in this video. Even though I like to correct people because I like to inform them, it's not my responsibility. I don't have to do it. Um, you know, people should be educating themselves. People should be, especially if you live in a bigger city. Um, even if you don't though, like I feel like it's just this day and age internet you know, there's enough exposure to things that I pe feel like people should, you know, have enough material at their fingertips where they can at least be like, huh, there are people who present differently than me and I should at least be aware of that. If someone you know or that you've come across a few times keeps mistaking you for a guy or keeps using the wrong pronouns, and you've corrected them a few times or you've mentioned like hey actually I'm female I identify this way I think it is fair to bring up why that's not okay like saying you know what like I know I've corrected you a few times that I'm actually female and I identify with she her it makes me feel invalidated or invisible when you use the wrong pronouns Something simple like that. I know some people are going to be like, oh my god, Whitney, that sounds so, like, formal. But I'm like, the minute you say, I've told you three times, stop calling me a guy, or I'm not a guy, people get on the defensive, and they're less likely to change their action. They're less likely to hear you. They're less likely... And it sucks. Again, it should not be on you. It should be the other people, you know, taking the time out of their lives to educate themselves about the people in their world. But people are lazy fuckheads, and they don't do that very much. So, coming at them with the, it makes me feel this way when this happens, like, I feel this when this. Those, that's the sentence structure, typically, for that type of thing. And people are more receptive to it and are more likely to change around it. Or at least take it in and think about it. From the other standpoint, like... From a person who has mistaken someone for a guy and they aren't a guy, what should they do? I made a video on that right here. Just keep spreading the visibility. I think that's the biggest thing. This is why I created this channel. I think, you know, showing people that we exist and we're out there and we're not going away is huge. So 
keep on keeping on everybody and I will see you all next week with a new video. All right, take care everybody. Bye.